All right, guys, Mr. Antonucci here, and we're back with part two, calculate expected counts for a test about the distribution of a categorical variable. So <clears throat> this is how we calculate the expected count, because we have to, when we are working with chi squared test for goodness of fit, we need to be able to calculate the observed and the expected counts, given that the null were true. So the expected count for category I in the distribution of a categorical variable is n times the proportion for i, where n is the overall sample size and p sub i is the proportion for category i specified by the null hypothesis. Now, I know that sounds very theoretical. Let's run through an example to show you how this actually breaks down when you really do it. So we're back to that random sample of 80 NHL players to see if their birthdays were uniformly distributed across four quarters of the year. Here's the data we had from the previous one, and we're going to explain we're just going to calculate the expected counts for a test of the null hypothesis that the population proportions of NHL players born in each quarter are the same. So if the proportions of players born in each of the four quarters are the same, then you would have 100% divided by 4, which is 25% or 0.25 of NHL players should be born in each quarter. So for each quarter you have our sample size is 80 you would expect to get about 20 for uh, each quarter if the null hypothesis were true okay and that's how you calculate the expected counts real quick one there and that's it for this one hope that was helpful to you